to bar. We're going to do total body bar today, meaning we're going to get from head to toe. Um, you'll want a chair or something that you can hold on to. Um, you can even use just the wall, it's fine. And I have some three pounds. If you want to go to five, you are welcome to do five. They might be a little bit heavy for the small repetitions, but you're welcome to do that. And you can always drop down lower or drop your weights. And if you don't have weights, water bottles will work. Um, or no weights is fine too. So we are actually going to warm everything up because we're going to get really deep into those hips. So we're going to start, I want you to imagine squeezing your inner thighs and we're going to do little circles with those hips. And I want you to visualize like a little pinpoint in your belly button. And I want you to imagine drawing a big circle like around. And maybe that circle gets bigger. Create space in between those hips and thighs. Other direction, right here. So we end up using a lot of hip flexors in this class, so I'm gonna teach you how to tuck a little bit more. So less hip flexor, more booty and thighs, all right? One more time, this should feel good. And then shake it out, hold it center, take a big breath in, reach up nice and tall, open up that rib cage over to one side, extend those arms, big reach. Exhale through. Now, you might feel yourself starting to burn today. That burning sensation, I want you to try to breathe through it. Release that lactic acid. Try to keep pushing through. And if it's too much, feel free to take a rest and then go back. All right? So, it's okay to have a little bit of burn. If you're burning too much, can't hold it anymore, shake it out. Come back. One more time. Inhale. Open up that side of the body rib cage, abs in nice and tight. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, let's go to a little four fold. Soft the knees and just gently release down and feel free to wiggle. Roll those shoulders the other way. Hold it center, take a breath. Inhale, halfway up, stretching through those hamstrings. Now, because we're not really warm yet, I want to warm everything up. So tiny, tiny controlled lifts. Excellent. Ah, if you're joining us right now, happy Friday. If you're logging in later, happy day. Ah, take it up. Use those glutes to lift yourself up. Inhale, we're gonna hold it here. Stand in a nice little mountain pose. We're gonna find the frame of our feet right here and really create that energy from your feet to your knees to your hips. Give me a slight little pelvic tilt. So if you feel even a slight arch in your back, tuck your hips in. From here, just little lifts. Up, up. Now as we lift, keep going. I want you to focus on the balls of your feet. So if you feel like you're angling out, I want you on the ball of your feet. Now if anything bothers you on your shoulders and your arms are up or we're using weight, you can be down here, you can be here, you can be here. And I'll show you some of the arm placements, but the arms when we're kind of just holding them, really help just isolate, lengthen the spine. So do what feels good to you. Four more, we've got lots of repetition on everything we do. Two, now hold it up, little presses, press. Remember, we're tilting that pelvis forward, holding it forward, squeezing. Now everything we do, I want you to think about your belly button pulling through your back, and then scooping through. Four more, four, squeeze, three, Ah, uh, two, feel that blood flow, and one, release it. Now this is gonna warm up through the back of the hamstrings a little bit deeper. You're gonna hold on to your bar, but angle back. So almost like we're in a plank. If you feel your booty pop, drop your booty in. Now if you need to, if you feel like you have a wobbly chair like I do, I'm gonna take my elbows. But I want you to be at an angle, all right? Right here, now just look forward and lift, lift. Again, the weight is on the ball of your foot. If you feel your booty pop, squeeze it in. If you feel your back drop, you should be a tabletop. Now, we are warming calves, but you're gonna notice blood flow all the way to the back of the thighs. Squeeze your inner thighs. 10, nine, eight, seven. We're not messing around. Six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up, pop it out. Already on fire. Imagine squeezing your inner thighs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Slowly drop it down. Now you can take those hands flat. 
tailbone over your heels, stretch it out. Now if you want to stretch out those shoulders, feel free to take those palms, face them in. Let your head fall through your arms a little bit. Take your tailbone, push it up to the sky, feel that stretch in the back of the knee, all the way up. Remember this is our warm up, slowly come on up. Good job. Now we're going to just face one direction, I'll end up moving my chair here and there. But warming up through these hip flexors, I want you to stand nice and tall. Shoulders are always away from your ears. We're just going to turn the Tony out. Swing. Swing. So let's try not to use that upper body. Swing. Swing. And you can have your hand on your hip. Have your hand up. We are creating heat and motion through those hips. Eight more. Seven. Go at your own pace. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it back, hold it back. Now make sure you're not arching that back right here. Little lift, up, up. Let's touch that toe barely, but without putting any pressure on it. Arm forward, arm here, arm up. Whatever feels good to you. Eight, seven, can you feel it right here? Toes and knees slightly turned out right here. Now you're probably feeling this through the supporting leg. Six, five, four, three, two. Swing that leg through and back and forth. Up. Good. Maybe that heart starting to pump a little bit as that blood flows through that body. Four more. Tony turned out. Three, two. All right. This time, hold it forward. Hold it forward. Turn your toe and knee out. You can bend that knee a little bit. A little attitude. Lift up. Up. Now you can barely touch that toe if you'd like. Ah, keep in mind that tailbone's tucked under. Oh, how's that booty feeling already? 10, inner thighs, nine, eight, seven, right from here, six, five, let's stand tall, three, two, and swing it back and forth. Oh, we're burning five, four, three, Two, and release it. Now, keep that leg up. We're just gonna put in a little figure four. I'll turn this way so you can see. Flex your foot. Let's sit into it. Stay right here. Now, if you need to use your hand to bring it in a little bit more, gently press that leg down, only if you like. Feel that stretch of the glutes. This leg holding you up is probably kind of tight, right? A little warm. Uh, shake it out. Ooh, before we do the other side, turn those toes and knees out. We're in a little plie. Stand nice and tall. So remember, we always want to think about lengthening that spine but relaxing the shoulders. Drop it down. Now, if you feel your heels have to come up, like you're here and they come up, please walk your feet out wider. Hold it right here. You can hold on to your bar or hold it here or here. Little presses. Toes and knees are turned out as much as you feel like you can go. Ah. Can you feel that leg that you worked already? A little more tired than the other one. 10, point that tailbone straight down, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it down. Now I want you to make a bigger crease right here. Yep, all right, you know who I'm talking to, all of you, get lower, there you go. Now if you think you're low, get lower, 90 degrees, four, three, two, press it, 10, 10, nine, come on, tilt it, six, Five, four, three, two, hold it, hold it. Stay in that goddess pose. Turn your toes just slightly. Four, just at a corner. Place your hands on your thighs. We're gonna take our left shoulder to your right knee. Now you can do the opposite, depending on which device you're watching, and just look up. Little twisted goddess, this feels so good. Slowly through to the other side. You should be warm already. I feel my heart rate. Take it center, round and roll up. Are we having fun yet? Roll those shoulders. All right, I'm gonna switch my chair, which I'll be doing quite often. You guys can do whatever you feel good, all right? So from here, slightly, remember we're gonna turn our toes slightly out. Forward and back, swing, swing. So I want you to remember as we swing, we wanna keep that chest tall. Your leg can go here, okay, it can be here. Whatever your range of motion in is completely fine. Arm is optional. 
I would suggest that whatever you did on one arm, you do on the other, unless of course you have an injury or something, okay? All right, let's do it. 10, nine, eight, second side's always harder, I'm gonna warn you. Five, four, three, two, hold it back, hold it back, hold it back. Stay right here, turn the toe any slightly out. Watch that back. Lift. Now remember you can just kind of touch that toe. Feel it right in the booty, right on the side here. Lift, lift, lift. Awesome job, you guys, yes. This doesn't take long to burn, right? Eight, seven, we'll swing. Five, four, three, two, swing back and forth. Ah, create some motion in those hips. Feels good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Get ready to hold it forward. Hold it forward right here. Turn your toe knee. Now remember, this one you can bend your knee a little bit. A little attitude. I want you to feel in the inner thigh. If you're feeling, keep going. If you're feeling it here in the front of your hip flexor, turn your hips. Everybody's hips are different. So this one, you want to feel through the inner thigh. Okay? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, swing it back and forth. Ah, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, hold it, hold it, take that leg, bring it up into your figure four. I'll turn this way so you can see. Make sure to flex this foot and sit into it. Now very gently, keeping that chest up tall, you're welcome to just gently press on that thigh and you'll get a super deep stretch through the glutes. How's that supporting leg? Feeling nice and pumped, right? Ah, uh, lift it up, shake it out. Awesome, open up, turn those toes. We're back into that plie. Toes and knees are turned out, tailbone tucked under. Let's drop down. Now remember, we want to crease here, so let's get lower. I can see my angle, because I'm in the video, right? And I can see my reflection. If you guys can't see a reflection, you probably think you're down here, and you're probably up here. So let's all sink lower, okay? It's just in our head. So let's press. You can hold on or not. Yeah. Keep going. So it's the same thing. I was taught this as we go. I'm just trying to tell you a story so you're not thinking about those legs on fire. Um, we always think that our body's in a different alignment than we actually are until we continuously practice getting into that position. Okay? So. I used to play a roller derby, right? And they would tell us to hit right here. Well, no matter what, I'd always hit the hip. And it's because I always thought I was lower than I am. So, aim lower, not in life, but aim lower and you will get lower, right? In life, aim higher and you will get higher. Four, three, two, hold it. I don't know about you, but I'm on fire. Get lower, four, three. We'll come back to these in a second, two. Come on up, shake it out. Woo, feel free to kick your heels. Feel that stretch. Yeah. Aim high, you will go high. All right, here we are. So, we're gonna do another glute one, and then we're gonna pick our weights. So from here, my chair is a little too high for my shoulders. So, and I don't have any short chairs. So I'm gonna put my hands here. But we want our spine neutral. So notice if I'm up here, I'm not very neutral. I don't have a very good 45 degree angle. So I'm gonna come down here. My heart rate's up. 90 degree angle, right? I think I said 45, but I'm at 90, all right? Kind of a little L shape. So pick where you're comfortable for your back. We're gonna take our left leg. Now you can do your right, doesn't matter. Take your left leg and extend it out. Watch your back. I want your hips square to your mat. Hold it here. We're gonna do little lifts. Leg is starting with straight. Now this leg, your supporting leg, can be straight, but not locked. So make sure you're not locking that knee. You can have it slightly bent. Now you might ask which leg we're working. You might think it's the top leg, but I'm telling you both legs are gonna be on fire in a second. 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Flex your foot, draw your heel to the sky. Keep those hips facing the mat. If you look down, so will your shoulders. If you look up, your hips probably turn up. We don't want that. Okay, eight, seven, six. If you're feeling this through your lower back, I need those abs tucked in. Four, three, two. We're gonna hold and kick it out. Kick, kick. Good little hamstrings, these are hard to catch. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it out, one more round. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bend the knee, heel up, let's lift. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, kick that leg out, last 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, yes, six, five, four, three, two, and one, drop it down. I don't know about you, but I am on fire both sides. So, breathe through it. Remember, I promised you, you'd burn. If it burns too much, feel free to stop, shake it out, and try to come back, all right? If not, that's fine, shake it out. All right, back to our plies. Open up. Yes, turn the toes out. I am sweating. Go ahead and tilt it in. From here now, this time we're gonna lift those heels up as an option, nice and low. Now, I think I'm lower, I look, and I need to be lower, little presses. You can hold on if you need more balance, or focus and just stare at one spot. I don't know if I've told you yet today, but you are awesome. So no matter where you are today and right now, I want you to either say out loud or inside, that's totally fine, but no one is listening to you but you. And I want you to say, I am awesome. So right now, while you're doing these and your legs are on fire, I have shaky legs, is I want you to say, I am awesome, okay? Hopefully you guys did that. Four, three, two, and it's like shaky. I'm trying to make you guys think about different things. And lift it up, shake it out. Woo! All right, I'm gonna flip my chair. You guys can stay the same. We're just switching legs, but I just want you to be able to see the outside leg. All right, my heart rate is up. I don't know about you. I'm going halfway down my chair so I can get that 90 degree angle. Belly button in, pelvic tilt. Yes? All right, so I did my left leg up. I'm going to do my right leg up. You choose. Make sure it's the other leg. Remember, soften that knee just slightly. Here we go, straight legs. Now hips are square to that mat. If you feel yourself turn, make sure you're turning your hips down. You guys are gonna walk so confident today because that booty is gonna be so tight. Eight more, eight, so first set, a little bit longer. Four, three, two, hold it up. Flex your foot, draw your heel up. Up. Really push that heel to the sky. Good. My theory about the second side always being harder is always true. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Kick it out. Kick it out right here. Kick. Kick. Now you can flex your foot, but if you choose to point and you like pointing, that's fine. Just make sure you're engaging that foot. Don't let it go all floppy. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold it out. Here we go, 10 of each. Two, three, all four, keep going. Five, I told you if it burns. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, heels up, 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, even my arms are shaking. <laughs> three, two, kick it out, last 10, come on. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, I promise I'll stretch you out. Stretch it out right here. Woo! Round the back. Slowly come on up. Open your feet back to your plie. We're going to stretch. Everything feels tight. Turn those toes and knees out. Gently come down. 
Toes are at a slight angle. Take one shoulder to the opposite knee, just like we did before. Slowly, slowly drop that shoulder, open up that knee. Create space in your lower back. Option to look up to the sky. Oh, this feels good. And the inner thigh feels awesome through my lower back. Slowly through. Take your time. Take your time. Especially when you're super tight. Make sure those toes and knees are angled together. And lift. Now, you didn't think we were going to go here without doing one more set, right? So tilt in. Turn your toes and knees out. Nice little plie. Option to hold on to your chair right here. All right, in your head, are you at that angle? Yes. Let's go lower. Now, we're going to do a little power. We're going to lift the heels up. But what we're going to add is this power. And again, you can hold on, but try not to push. Up. Up. So I'm kind of exploding. Up. 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 We'll take a little break on the legs after this section and hit those weights. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Now, this is too much with the power. Just stay here. Four, three, two. Hold it up, hold it up, but then bend low. Press it out. Ten, nine, ah, eight. Tilt that pelvis a little further down towards the ground. Five, four, you can do it. Three, two, hold it, hold it. Hold it, keep your heels up. Come up. Ooh, drop your heels when you need to. Shake it out. Oh, push those heels. Beautiful, one quick stretch if your heart rate's really high and you don't like putting your head down, just keep it up and do this stretch. If not, we get a little bigger stretch to the back. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Soften those knees, let's get into the back, the glutes, and just soften the knees, hang your arms down. Ooh. Feel free to hug your arms, or hug your legs, not your arms, you can hug your arms behind you, I guess. Very, very slowly, I don't want anyone dizzy. Slowly come on up. Ah, I love comments, so keep giving me those comments and keep moving. Grab some water if you need it, and then grab your weights. All right, so tiny little movements, lots of repetition. We're gonna isolate the legs, but first, we're gonna give them a break. So stand however you want, soft the knees so you can still tilt your pelvis. We have a nice alignment in the spine, and we're gonna start right here. And I'm just going at an angle so you can see both ways, and that you can see that my booty's not sticking out more than it normally does, right? <laughs> and then right here, right here, lift it up, 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 up. Now, if you feel this in your back, bend your elbows a little more. We are working on the front delt. Secondary is maybe the bicep, but it's not doing any action. So, primary is the front of the shoulders. And we do a lot of front of the body, strengthening wise. So I'm gonna promise you we're gonna do the back of the body to really open up that chest. Five, but we have to do lots of repetitions. Four, three, two. Slowly come out. Now I want you to come out to like a little V, not too far, and then push out. Now notice the action in the elbow, which creates action in the bicep and tricep. Good, mostly bicep. Now we're working a little wider on the outside of the shoulders, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six. You guys are killing it. If you forgot, tell yourself you're amazing. Four, three, two, hold it out. Only where you feel comfortable, little lifts back up. We're going back to the center. Hold it here. 10, nine, back is straight, abs are in. Tilt that pelvis, all those things we're still engaging through our core. Five, four, three, two, open wide, open wide and push out. Now do you see why we didn't really pick up fives or eights? If you like them and you've got them, you go for it, girls. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it out, here we go, lift it in. Eight, seven, six, five, are we having fun yet? <laughs> All right, push it forward, now. We haven't done this one yet. Elbows are squeezing, pull back. Now I want you to imagine those two strings in front of you. Palms are up and you're pulling those strings, kind of like you're rowing, but with your palms up and your shoulders down. Right, so there's really no circles. Eight, seven, six, five, 
four. This is where the back of the arm comes in. Notice when we come back, we squeeze the shoulder blades and we get the rear delts, but we're gonna focus a little deeper. Two, hold it back. Now turn your palms in, they face each other. I want you to sit into a little chair. Now everyone's different how low. I can't go super low, but if you can get down here, it would look like this, but your heels would be down. Look straight forward, wherever that might be. So your spine is neutral. Kick back. Now, squeeze your inner thighs, tilt that pelvis slightly in. Now we're in the back of our body. If you're feeling this in your neck, if you're feeling this in your neck, make sure your shoulders aren't up here. Push your shoulder blades. I'm being drastic, but push them down into your rib cage. Really squeeze them towards your hips. Press, press, press. Triceps, rear delts. Oh, this feels so good. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Get in those rhombe voids. Eight, seven, I told you lots of repetitions. Six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up, turn your palms up. Tiny lifts, now stop at the hips. So make sure you're not coming all the way down. Stop right at your booty. Breathe it out. All right, now squeeze your inner thighs while you're here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it, bring your arms down. Now we're gonna add a little squat to this chair. Squat and row up. Make sure you're not opening those shoulders. Down, row up, squeeze. Going back to a little bit of legs, right? Zipper those thighs together. Here's two zippers on each side of your thighs. Zipper them up. Elbows back. Eight more. Seven. Six. I don't know about you, but I have beads of sweat on my face right now. And I hope you guys feel the same. Four. Three. Two. Hold it into that low chair. Hold it, elbows only. Now I really want you to touch the bottom of your shoulder blades together. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more thing. Fly, open wide, elbows bent. Go at your own pace. I know your arms feel like dead weight right now. Keep pushing, exhale on the lift. We have eight more, we're doing one more round. Seven of that row squat and this fly, we are done with arms. Four, three, two, squat and row, squat and row up. Good, now get those elbows way back there, keep the shoulders away from the ears. I can't stress that enough. Seven, let's try to reach a little lower. Six, five, four, three, Two, one, hold it up, little arms, come on. Eight, seven, we have those flies and you're done with the arms. Six, five, four, three, two, open up to that fly. Elbows are bent, squeezing those shoulder blades together, kind of in line with your belly button. Six, this is it. Five, woo, four, burn in. Three, two, and one, very slowly, come on up, shake it out. Keep those weights in your arms. And I lied about the arms, we're gonna do a little bit of calves, okay? So, as long as your shoulders can take it, this takes all sides of those shoulders. Kind of finish it off, but I want you to turn your toes and knees out. All right, clip your heels together. Tilt your pelvis. Those knees will bend a little bit. Lift, lift. Good job. Notice that weight, I need it on the big toes. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. I promise this is it with the arms. Two, and one. Oh, who knew those three pounders were gonna feel so heavy. Go ahead and drop those weights. Shake it out, I'll give you a quick little stretch. Shoulder relax, bring your arms across the chest. Woo, go ahead and look over that shoulder if you'd like. Bring that same arm up over your head, grab that elbow. We're gonna just gently lean over, open up from the armpit down the side of that rib cage. Inhale up, 
Exhale, bring the other arm across the chest. Drop your shoulder away from your ear. Press it into the chest. Option to look over. Bring it up. Grab that elbow. Excellent. Gently lean over. Slowly release. Shake it out. All right, we are going to get a little bit into the inner thighs booty. We're going to go for it, and then we'll take it down onto the ground. So from here, it doesn't really matter which side you can hold on if you'd like, or use this more as a balance and don't hold on at all. So we're going to keep those toes and knees turned out, or put them back, turn those knees out, and we're going to drop down. Now my bad heel, this is my range of motion, that's all I have. But that's okay. Go as low as you feel comfortable, but what happens is that because I don't have a lot of range of motion, my butt sticks out. So I'd rather not be as low so I can get that alignment on my back. So please, it's not about how low you go, okay? You go as low as you can, but the heels stay down. Tilt your pelvis, so I really want you to squeeze. We're gonna get into inner thighs, booty, it all, chest tall. Now from here, first we bend, then we lift. But you need to be able to do both. Zipper, and then drop down. Down lift, up, drop down, down, lift, up, drop down. Remember, we want that pelvis to turn in. Down, lift, up, and down. Down, lift, lift, and down. So it's bend, heels, stand, drop. Bend, heels, stand, drop. Keep going. Bend, heel, squeeze, and lift. So remember, down, up, squeeze, and lift. Notice that with no arms, it takes a little bit more balance. Down, up, squeeze. Really zipper those thighs. Four more. One, two, three, four. Hold it down and lift your heels. From here, tilt that pelvis, pelvis back and forth. So we're going to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You can hold on if you'd like. Ugh. Heels are up. Squeeze. Can you feel it there? 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 Ah! Eight, seven, six, five. You don't have to hold on. Four. I fall over. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Yes? We have one more set. But the, we're going to go the opposite way. All right, so we started with the down. This time we're gonna start with the up and then go down. Don't worry, I'll show you. We're gonna start with the up, then go down, then drop. That heel doesn't go down, but I'm gonna try my best and then lift. Up, down, press, lift. Up, down, drop, lift. Up, drop, down, and lift. Up, down, drop, and lift. Good. Up. Down, pelvis is tilted, forward, down, and lift, good. Up, down, drop, and lift. Up. Now if I open my feet a little bit wider, I get that heel down a little bit more. So if that works for you, try that instead. Up, down, drop, and lift. Up, down, drop. I don't know about you, but inner thighs are mainly feeling this but quads and glutes, the more I tilt, the more I feel through the tush. Two more, up, drop, down, and lift. One more, up, drop, down. Now, hold it up, drop, tilt forward, push, push. Middle pelvic tilt, you're on your toes. You can be balancing or have your hands wherever you need to. Squeeze, squeeze. Eight, now this is the last time, so it's our bonus. Eight, seven, six, five, oh my gosh, four. Is anyone else's leg shaking? Please don't tell me now unless your screen's right there. Hold it, press. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness, click your heels. We're gonna stretch. Shake it out. I'm gonna take it into that 90 degree angle, so I'm gonna change my arms. Uh, starting by stretching through the hamstrings and glutes, and then we'll stretch the front. Lift your chin and chest forward a slight bit, and then feel free to drop your head through your arms. Now stay here for me, bend your knees, but tilt your pelvis. 
Beautiful stretch for that lower back. If you need to, this is too much for your shoulder, just walk in and bend the elbows. This is fine too. Tilt that pelvis so you can come up. Oh, roll those shoulders. Stretching through the front of the thigh, take one leg, bring it behind you. Squeeze your inner thighs together, push your hips forward. Now make sure that everything's facing the same direction. Stay where you're at. If you would like, hold it here, flex your foot. So take your hand over to your ankle if you'd like. And we're gonna do a little bit of a dancer's pose, but balance. Now if you choose and you wanna let go, you can let go and do a little dancer's pose. This is awesome to open up the shoulders and the front of the hip. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Nice, other side, first the quad stretch. Bring your leg in. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Lift that chest up, press your hip forward. Really get stretched the front of the thigh. We're gonna take it down to the ground and finish off. All right, grab that ankle if you'd like. Flex your foot. And we're gonna lift those heels up to the sky, high five the front. Ah, and lift up into your dancer's pose. Five, four, three, oh, two, and one. Beautiful job, inhale, reach it up. Soften your knees, take it down to a forward fold, stretch out that back. Soften those knees, hang and just let it go. Good job. All right, we are going to finish off with a quick set of abs. We have a lot of ab workouts, um, but we've been doing a lot of core the whole entire time. So we're gonna finish off with a couple planks. If you don't like planks, you're welcome to do some crunches or go find one of our five, 10 minute ab workouts. Um, but this is just a quick set of planks. So <clears throat> either way, your knees can be on the ground or up, elbows on the ground or hands. All right, so totally up to you. Just hold it, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate from a plank to a side plank, I'm just showing you. Hold, and then hold. So you can be here, all right, wherever you are. 10 seconds of each, rotation through. So, here we go, push back, 10, nine. Remember, you could be here, keep your booty flat. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Roll onto the blade of your foot so you don't have to change directions. Remember, you can drop a knee. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Lift that hip up. Take it back to center for 10. You can always launch your elbows. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Roll onto the blade of the other foot. Open up. Remember, you could be on your knees or your elbows. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, lift those hips, two, back to center. We have one more round. If you need a break, take it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, turn to the blade, lift, and 10, nine, eight, get higher, seven, six, five, four, three, two, back to center. One last time, center, 10, nine, Eight, seven, squeeze, five, four, three, two, we have one more side plank and ten, nine, eight, seven, you can do it, five, four, three, two, take it to center just for a second so we're neutral, gently drop your knees, gently open your knees wide, Woo! onto the elbows so you can roll your wrists. And if you're on your elbows, it's still your wrist. Roll the other way. Sit back into your child's pose. Toes touch. Option to have your arms wide. Drop that head. Awesome, awesome, awesome job. And lift it up. We are going to stretch. Go ahead and just swing it. And we're gonna cross our legs one on top of the other. Now, if this is too much for you, so we're gonna do both sides, but if you'd like, you can go to butterfly and just stay in butterfly. But we are going to go into a little cross and really get into those hips. And again, if this is too much for your knee, just do butterfly. Stand nice and tall, or not stand, but sit nice and tall and gently press that top leg. Now, if you're here or maybe here, 
and this is okay for your knee, that's okay, we're still opening that hip. Okay, so please do what feels good to you. Now, if you'd like, feel free to lean forward. Feel that stretch, that upper back. If you're here, you're still gonna be opening the hips, and you'll just stay here when we do the other side. Okay, so please listen to your body. Gently come on up. Now, if you're in butterfly, just stay where you're at. If not, extend. If you need to give your knee a little massage, that's fine too. And let's switch sides. Oh, sit nice and tall. It's important that spine is straight, gently pressing down on that knee. Not too much, just enough where you feel deeper stretch through that hip. This feels so good. Option to come down, reaching those fingertips. If you're in butterfly, you're doing the same exact thing. Now I want you guys to believe in yourself. I promised you would walk with confidence. It's on you, you should feel confident. Be proud of who you are, be proud of all your accomplishments, and shake it out. Go ahead and massage that knee if you need to. Sit however you're comfortable. Big inhale all the way up to the sky. Thank you for joining me, hands in heart center. Ah, the badass in me honors the badass in you. Namaste.